appear to them so, and certainly of a surety they killed him not, and people come right. along and say, yeah. he died and he was crucified. Obviously, they have a comprehension problem. Yeah, but my point now is, with these verses about Paul, if you look at throughout history, and almost all, the vast majority of Catholics and Protestants and Orthodox, all tend to interpret it in a certain way, and then you say, oh, but that's stupid, that can't be, it's over this way. Then you're like, wait a sec, first, we, first of all, we have to analyze why did all those people believe it that way? I hope I have explained yeah. it already. And risk Political their lives dominion and, the and, and the life. yeah. propagation they, they of a particular viewpoint the yeah. of, of theology. Sure. If if the church was being under a particular number, for example, yeah. which favored the options of God of good and God of evil, yeah. the Christian belief of God of good and evil, yeah. not the Zoroastrian belief, yeah. but the Christian belief. Early Christians believe there was a God of good and a God of evil. Mm -hmm. Those sect, if they became pro predominant, Early today, Christians today, there was a God of we would evil. have, we would have had not true. Yeah, no, the I, yeah. Pope, that's not true. There's, the yeah. Pope <laughs> sitting there and yeah. saying, we believe in the God of good and God of evil. No, no, no. But that, form, did not that, that form did not become predominant because it wasn't in favor of the political authorities. Now, I want to focus on one simple thing. The man Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. which you Jesus consider Christ. to, according to you, Lord. Lord Jesus, well, yeah. wait, 700 uh, times, of course. Yeah. Fine, fine. Yeah. That's a lot. Let's say every single verse of the Bible says yeah. he's Lord, right? Yeah. According to your scriptures, yeah. according to the Lord, what was his identification of who the only true God was or is? From the horse's yeah. mouth, we want to yeah. hear. Because the, the way the Christians understood it, they, they believed as they wrestled through these things and understanding all the scriptures, that they said, you have verses where you have Jesus, where it sure seems to be that he's God, and yet you have all these other things. So they have a way of, they developed a way of trying to understand how all those sure. things fit together, where Jesus can speak of the Father as someone else, and yet still be a part of the same divine Godhead, which is still one person. Now, of course, for people who don't accept this concept of Trinity, it's all hogwash to them and they don't understand. But my point is, you have to wrestle with what they are trying to understand and refute what they're saying. And so they, it's not enough to just say, oh, that's just stupid, that's just idiotic. Well, why is it that there's there's a lot of people who believe that from a lot of different traditions, traditions for a lot of generations. Are you okay if my yeah. brother responds to that? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. So what I'm saying is that, you know, you kept saying that just because a majority of them believe it. So you're saying somehow that is the truth. No. Or isn't I'm that the point you, you made you so have, many times now? You have, but what you have to do is you have to you have to deal with that thing. You can't ignore it as if it's not there and you have to... No, but even if you deal with it, the thing is, yeah. let's take this as a principle that just because the majority yeah. believe in it, right. does, that, does that make it true? No. Exactly. So the point is, right. it is possible that sometimes a smaller number might be right and the majority are wrong. Yeah. And this has happened throughout exactly. history, you know, many times. Now, let's, let's forget everybody else. Let's go based on the Bible that you, I'm assuming you hold the Bible as, as something which is the Word of God yeah. and something which ha is, uh, is inspired by God and is the truth. Similarly, Jesus Christ, according to you, is the best example of mankind. Yes? And whatever he says and whatever he believes... Is the Gospel is, truth to you? Is, is basically, yeah, it's the Gospel, gospel truth. truth. So the question is 100%. this. The question is this. In the Gospel of John, in John 73, when Jesus says this is eternal life, that they may know you, the Father, is the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have said. And Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ, whom you have said. Now, you and I know that when Jesus said this, he was referring to the Father as yes. the only true God, and Jesus as a Christ. Yeah. Making a clear distinction between the only true God as a Father, one person, yeah. and Jesus Christ as yeah. another person. Yeah. Now, there's only one person or one individual or one entity who has the title the only true God. Yeah. Who is that according to Jesus? God. The no, who is that? Yeah, the who is the one who got the title? Yes. Yeah. The Father, the Son or the Holy Spirit? Yeah, see, that, no, no, you need to answer this question. It's quite Christian. They are all God. No, yeah. no. The question is, according to Jesus Christ, who bears this title of the only yeah. true God? From the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, who bears the title? As the Messiah, he's pointing toward the God of the, the God of heaven. He's, you, he's loaded yeah, himself. Say, the question is from God, the Father. I'm not using the term yeah. God. I'm, yeah. The term God he is came in the title. To give glory to yeah, the Father okay, while probably, he was on earth. Yeah, but in the sense that Jesus, the Son, yes. is speaking. He's referring to, you could say, G, God the Father. But here's my point. Wait, wait, wait. If, but what is, yeah, yeah, but if that's true, if it's so obvious that that is a 
contradiction. How is it that for I'm not saying contradiction. Yeah. Yeah, no. I'm saying this is the belief of Jesus Christ. Yeah. You know, you, you yeah. do believe Jesus himself yeah. believed in God when he was on earth. Because obviously he's not an atheist. Yeah. He's a man who believed in a, in, yeah. a, in a particular faith. Yeah. And that particular faith happens to be the faith of Abraham, yeah. the faith of uh, Moses. Yeah. Yes, because he he, yeah. uh, he he refers to them and yeah. he refers to their yeah. their teaching. Because wait a minute, when Jesus says in uh, first um, is it first Timothy three sixteen? Sorry, second yeah. Timothy three sixteen that all scripture is God breathed and yeah. used for rebuking and teaching and yeah. so on. Yeah. He was not referring to the New Testament. Yeah. He was referring to the teaching of Moses. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So he says this is God breathed. Yeah. Now, from that we know that he was you a man Paul of faith. Said that, yeah. He yeah. was a man of faith. Yeah. Now, Paul. the question to you both is this: yeah. Which God did Jesus worship? Yeah. Whenever he yeah. was asked the question, yeah. yes, Lord, how do we pray? Yeah. Or Master, how do we pray? What was his response? Yeah. Jesus did not worship wait, the wait, Father. Yeah, wait a minute. He did yeah. not yeah. Wait a minute. God. If someone prays to a God, that God is the one they worship because a prayer is no, a kind no, of no, worship. No, no, no. A prayer is a kind of worship no, and we no, deny no. that. Yeah. So you're telling me someone Very like different. Jesus falls on yeah. his face he was yeah. and prays to a nobody. He was dependent on the Father in heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit for 33 years. Whom did but he now, pray to? But yeah. the, the, here's the thing, Matthew 22, you've read it. Uh, Jesus said to the Orthodox who did not believe that he was the Messiah, he said, what do you think of the Messiah? Whose son is he? They say he's the son of David, the son of Daoud. Can you answer the question? Why then? Him? I am answering the no, question. No, you're not. Okay. So why then My question is, whom does do he call to? him Lord okay. in the Psalms? Daoud calls him Lord. He always goes off tangent. That's why no, I'm no, talking to no, 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 okay. I'm sticking because straight Jesus, to you. Would you mind answering that part? Well, yeah. first of all, one of the things we see clear in the New Testament is that there's several times where Jesus where it says he spoke in prophecies, or he, sorry, he spoke in parables because he said, my time has not yet come. So there was, whereas very specifically, he used, like he used the phrase son of man, which it, he didn't straight out say, hey, I'm God, hey, I'm God. The son of man phrase came from God. No, hold on, hold on. In, in, you the, mentioned, that's a whole let me, yeah. you, you, but you mentioned parable, question. John 17, 3 is yeah. not a parable. Okay. You and I know uh, yeah, that. Yeah, I know. So yeah, let's yeah. not go side, let's not side track. I'm not, but you want to answer it, and I, to give a proper oh. answer, since it's a complex question, it requires a bigger okay, what answer. What was my question? Do you remember that? Yeah, it's John 17, 3. No, what was my question based is, on that? Is Jesus speaking to... God. You didn't remember the question. Yes. That's why let me repeat it. Wait, my, my question, my, 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 my question is very simple. Yeah. Jesus had a belief when yeah. he was a man. Yeah. During his ministry, yeah. he said yeah. in John 20, 17, another verse, yeah. when Mary Magdalene wanted to touch yeah. him, he said, I've not yet ascended. Yeah. Now go and tell my brethren that I go to my father and your father, yeah. my God and your God. Yeah. Okay, so he uses both the terms. Yeah. He uses the term father yeah. and he uses the term God. Yeah. Both of them referring to the same entity. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. Now his father is his God. Do you agree? Yeah. Do you believe that if Jesus was God, do you think he would have a God? Uh, yeah. Yes. But now here. Can God have a God? Okay. Me? Yeah. But here's the, but here's the issue. So to help you try and understand how yeah. Christian theologians have thought about this, is that Jesus. I mean, just like any other big famous person here, it would be really weird if, like, a famous pres president of Uganda was out here and he's like, hey everyone, I'm president of Uganda, hey everyone, you, know, you don't, it's, it's weird, you let other people say it. You're, not, people, you're not answering the question. I, yes, I if, am. If there is only one God, can he have a God? I, I already told you yes, but now I'm going to so give you the So you don't believe in one God? Temporarily for 30 Forget about that. Yes. God is not temporary. Don't forget that. God is not temporary. It will be God. weird. He is the, way the right hand of the Father now. Somebody one, asks one you, are you God. are you God? And you say, I do a lot of things. Wait, wait. Just, just hear that. It would be weird it was like this. Yeah. The president of Uganda comes along and somebody asks, are you really the president of Uganda? Do and he have, says, do you have um, a president? Right. Yes. Yeah, that's look, it, look, 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 wait, why would he not directly answer? If somebody says to you, like, imagine in your belief or in many other beliefs, God comes down and somebody asks, are you God? And he or she is afraid to tell them or he very, very, very Sadducees humble or very shy. He had to die on the so, cross, not yeah, can, you, can you hear me? Can this you hear me first? Yeah. Imagine why in a belief system, please, in away. a belief system, God comes down on planet Earth and somebody asks, are you the one and only true yeah. God, yeah. or out of many gods, are you God? Yeah. And this God, he or she or it, is afraid to tell them. Yeah. And he speaks in they parables and saying, no, you know what? Messiah. Uh, no, he's right. Wait, You're right. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, slow down. Do you, ex yeah. do you expect that that God should make it plain and clear 
that yes, I am God? What, surrounded by yes. Sadducees Wait, and Pharisees? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. Yes. No, no, I understand God what he's saying. Do you agree? Yes. Right. And that's exactly what happened. Did Christ ever identify himself? I am God of Israel on earth, the one and only true God. He didn't make that sentence, but yes, he did. And it was right at the, at the pinnacle of his life because before that, he had spoken parables. He'd done not John 17. That's not a parable. You're right. <laughs> but why you don't want to discuss but that? I'm getting to that. I'm why getting don't to want to discuss that? that? Because you're going to try so many places. Living, and your people were watching what he was doing. They're like, wow. And he said that. And the Pharisees and the others started getting very angry. And at the very end, they took him before the high priest. And the high priest, before the Roman leaders, they said, this guy is a blasphemer because what he's saying, he's making himself out to be God. Yeah. And, and, and then they put him to, and they asked the exact question you asked. So this and is what who was you are, and Jesus said, "I what you said is true." Do you want to open up the verses? What you said in the is Bible? true. No, Which means Jesus I, said, "Do you mind yes, opening up the Bible verses?" So let me get this right. <laughs> You're telling me that Jesus at one point says that He is God, according to wait a minute. Didn't he use that word, "I am God"? Okay, He implied. Let's say implied. He implied that He was God, according yeah. to you, right? But then in John 17, 3, He said He has a God Himself. Which is now wait, wait, wait a minute. If there is only one God. You believe there is one God. You believe yeah. there is one God. Jesus believes there is one God yeah. because he says in Mark 12, 29, yeah. he repeats the Shema of Moses. Mm -hmm. Yes. So even Jesus believes there is one God. Yeah. But according to Jesus, who is that one true God? See, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I want to answer from you. It's, it's, the, it's this understanding where it's him and the Spirit and the Father no, together. No, no, no. Based on Jesus, yeah. not based on your yeah. assumption. Yeah. I'm asking based on Jesus, Christ, who is that one true God? God, the creator of the universe. Nope. No, no, nope. nope. he identifies. Say, try it again. Try it okay. again. Based on John 17, 3. You know John 17, 1? Yeah, yeah. Refers to whom? Yeah. The Father. The Father. Yeah. yeah. And John 17, 3, this is eternal life that they may know you. Who is the you here? The, the Father. Father. Good. So why did you yeah. say the God of the universe? Well, it's the same thing. Oh, exactly. So you and I both agree, and yeah. Jesus as well, yeah. that the God of the universe is only the Father. Not only. Ah, you slipped yeah. that word in there. So I did not use the word only. Jesus did not He did not use the word only. He did. Look it up. He did. This is exactly the point I'm making. No, okay, okay. Yeah. Thank Actually, you very much. You deny the mystery at three and one. Right? Right? You may be wrong. You're, so obviously, if, if it says only, then, then he's right. But if no, it doesn't say only. Not only in the sense of... <laughs> You're doing misunderstanding. Also, oh, only has another meaning. Yeah, meaning, no, meaning there is only one God. And who is that? One true God. According to yeah. Jesus, who is that? Yeah. It's the the Trinity. No. This is not one that you're so reluctant to okay, answer. Yeah, 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 you know what? Yeah. Trust me, you know, when they when they talk about people who John are John 17, 3. It's people says, who go against Jesus' teaching. Yeah. Jesus now, exactly doing this that. is eternal yeah. life. Yeah. That they... No, yeah. you the only so, sorry, true exactly. God. Yes. When, so when, so when, how, how can they know down. Jesus? No, 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 no. When no. Jesus said, how can they know Jesus? You the Wait Father is the only true God. Yeah. Can there how can you be know Jesus another Christ? true God? Yeah. Jesus said, because you can know him now. No. You can know Jesus so now. So according to Christ, yeah. the, Lord, the, the Father is the only true God. And how many persons is the Father? Jesus Christ. He's part of the Trinity. How many persons is the Father? One person or three persons? one person. So according to Christ, the only true God is one person or no. three person? No. What do you mean? You just said it is one the true God, not one true person. Look, so according to Christ, God? let's let's clearly yeah, exactly. go by step by step. Yeah, no. According to Christ, no, according to Jesus, not a the only true, true God is the Father. He can no. Now you're slipping it. See? No, it's not. That, you, only the, true God is not the Father. No, but you're trying That's to what say it said. he didn't say the only true Father. He said the only true God. Okay. So you're saying he didn't say. So according to Jesus, once again, who is the only true God? Well, no, no, you, yeah. you know what? Every time, every time we mention yeah. about Jesus, yeah. you try to twist the words like the Pharisees. Yeah, but and he tried no. to, he tried to chain the goalpost. Yeah, but you, why do you guys do that? Well, me, for for one reason, if you really want an answer, it's yes. because if you're going to use verses from the New Testament, why don't you take the verses which obviously say that he died on the cross? Okay, you know what? So you want to change the topic like, now you and to the crucifixion. Wait a minute. For me, the most important the point dead. before you yeah. go to the crucifixion is to acknowledge who the true God is, like Jesus did. Now, you tell me, should I believe Jesus or should I believe the two of you? Because you both are going against Jesus. What was his primary focus as the Son of God? It's the so, point of the Father. Do you we want to focus on this because you're, Christians you're, you're have not a really you're not accepting Jesus bad time God is the only. in answering this point? Yeah. Because I, 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 I even know of Christians who wish 
This is my estimation. Who wished this verse was not in the Bible? Yes. No. You know what St. Augustine so, was so troubled? Do you know St. Augustine? He's one understand. of the top yeah. church fathers. Things. He yeah. was so troubled by this particular passage yeah. that he wanted to change the order of the wording in there. Yeah. So he wanted to say, this is eternal life. They may know you and yeah. Jesus Christ yeah. as the only true God. Yeah. He wanted to bring that. Yeah. He wanted to change. You know why? Okay. Just yeah. like you are having trouble with this particular yeah. passage. And that's why you said the term only is not there. Oh, it's only talking about the God only of the universe. Only, only when you know very clearly that Jesus is talking about the Father as the only true God. So oh, you're wait, saying that who is all Jesus? the people throughout 2,000 years have been so stupid they couldn't realize this obvious fact no, no, no. in John 17. I'm saying, I'm saying, forget about all the other people in the 2,000 years. No, 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 I'm no. saying, Let just me finish like the that guy over there, he was me. saying something that was totally Let different me finish from all at least my sentence. about whether Jesus Let me finish my sentence. If you believe that Jesus Christ is your main role model, the best man, yeah. The best, uh, uh, what do you say? The best, your uh, savior, the best creation yeah. Yeah. or creator, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, if you believe his words are worthy yeah. more than these people of 2000 years of history, then you would believe, then you would believe what Jesus said, and you would acknowledge, and you would acknowledge that according to Jesus Christ and according to his belief on earth, the only true God is just one person. And that is only the Father, one person, and not Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. All because of one verse that you take yes. out of context. Yes. Takes the whole it's one verse destroyed it's and yeah. and yes. it, yes. What about but Matthew 22? If it really was that persuasive, you can be sure there would have been a lot of people throughout the last 2,000 years who would have come to that same conclusion. It's Actually, not they did. They did. They did. The and they turned that's to the reason John 17. Yes. That's the reason they left Christianity, many of them, because of words like that. No. They, so where is the historical evidence that said, we used to believe this, but we came but across John 17. Why would you go no, Can I ask you a very simple question? Is this verse unclear about who Jesus is identifying as the only true God? Yeah, we've dealt with sorry, sorry. What about is Matthew it clear or unclear? No, no, no. You won't sorry. accept Matthew you 20. 20. You won't accept John 7 3. I can so understand. Here, you've been on it for half an hour. Jesus yeah, it, is quite you clearly like identifying yeah, yeah, but there but is John's one saying, person you know, of the Father. No, one true God. Who is that? And one true God he identifies as the Father. Yeah. Is the father you now? You identified him as the father. No, Jesus did. Yeah. You, I know you are you saying? Like this is the are you saying? Yeah. Can I have your Jesus. Bible again? Yeah. Yeah. Because verse one starts with yeah. identifying father. this God yeah. to be the father. Because Actually, you already that's, said that you are the yeah. father. Look, he clarified. After Jesus said this, he looked toward yeah. heaven and prayed, "Father, yeah. the hour has come." He continues, "Father." Yeah. So he's addressing the father and says, "You," yeah, yeah. meaning, yeah, good. Wait, yeah, so slow, slowly. Yeah. So according to Christ's self-identification, the only true God, not a God, not true God, only true God. That means you cannot have any other gods apart from this God. And that is the Father. My simple question, next question is, is the Father three person or one person? The answer I will tell you. Tell me whether you agree or disagree. The yeah. Father is one person, not three right. persons. Right. So according to Christ, in essence, then, the only true God is one person. Yes. According to Christians, the only true God is how many persons? Three. Who, whose side is Christ on? Your side or our side? Christ is on the side. Look at on the side. Like of the I said, no, no. You, what, if I were you, I would ask again. How is it that people have been so stupid for two thousand years you not me. to get? I would give you no. The way you do. Why it would is you go against Jesus Christ's There's teaching? There's people that is the who thing. have written their reasons on how they understand John seventeen. I can tell you There's why. Hundreds. Okay, of how do you understand written. it? Let's see. How do you understand it? That you tell he me. believes. Yes. That, that he that he always spoke of him as the true God, but that he was no, no, no. the son, and, but he didn't, he didn't so reveal that him, with his own voice. How do you understand John 7 and 3? Tell me, please. How do you understand that John 7 and 3? wants them to Who is a he? Who is a he? Jesus. Okay, Jesus wants to know. Want them to know that, that, that God, God, you see what I mean? Read it. Yeah. When they the read verse? it themselves, they cannot yeah. disagree with it. Only if they disagree yeah. with it, then because you're disagreeing with Jesus. he was pointing, while he was yeah. it's three years as the Messiah, he's pointing to the Father in heaven. As he what? Was, as what? He, He's pointing to the Father as what? Oh, as the what only... Why as, quite as now? What? As what? As, as what? what? Exactly, as what? <laughs> as what? What is it pointing to the as Father the as... As what? Shema Yisrael, Yehovah Eloheinu, Yehovah Achaz. Yes, so he, what is his name? Elohim. The term Yehovah is not here. Yehovah. The term Yehovah is not here. So he is... Go and go to Mark 12, 29. You say Stick Jehovah, Jehovah is not in the Bible. My friend. It's there 6,000 times. But not in the New Testament. What? Not even once. Zero times. Well, you know, it's in Greek. What's in Greek? 
So is it true? When it says when God, is it true Bible, it's then? curious. Well, exactly. So, God, God, so yeah. he agrees with me, God Yahweh. So what do you mean? Okay, okay, so first of all, <laughs> yes. it says, uh, John chapter 17, verse 1, when Jesus had spoken these words, he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, mm. the hour has come. Glorify your Son, yep. that the Son may glorify. So right there, he said, I'm the son. son. I'm the Son of God.